So while waiting my uh, shadow to be rendered in the 3D, so I'm going to uh, start composite okay to save the times. Alright, so I'm going to uh, import my codes into this uh, artifact into the scenes. Alright, like wave and the okay. Don't forget to click this okay Photoshop sequence okay. So this. It's a sequence, alright. So I'm going to just drag it here. Tada! This code is there. Okay, when I drag here, you if you can see, uh, this is six seconds, alright. But the the animation we make is only five seconds. Why is that? Why is this happening? Okay, this is some confusion. Sometimes I also have, uh, and I think most of a lot of people have also. Yeah, this is because uh, frame per second is different, okay, from here, actually this is, uh, I believe this is 25, because it's from YouTube, but in my software is uh, 30, okay, we can change from the beginning, but I was forgot, okay, <laughs> alright, so just, it's okay, we just right click here to the animation files, and then going to interpret footage, and then go to main, uh, main. so this frame per second change to 25, okay, so that is perfectly fits, right? It's fit very perfect, okay? And then if you can see, uh -huh, uh, around this code, uh, he has a uh, jack there, little jack, right? Something like uh, very, uh, very sharp around it, okay? So we need to to remove it, okay? So I'm going to click uh, this uh, match joker. I just bring it here. Ah, now it's look good. Okay, so let's see. Oh, now it's look like very good, right? <laughs> okay, uh, while it's rendered, let me see my yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, now this code is already look good. Okay, but it still need a uh, uh, it still need uh, shadows. Okay, the the one we make. Okay, so how we put it now? I'm going to show you. Okay. So we just double click it and then I'm going to take these uh, shadows we made before uh, And then I just drag it here and under the second layer, okay? Uh -huh. Right, and then I just all right, let's let's change the uh, frame per seconds first, okay? Okay, and then I right click and then I'm going to blending mode and then I change it to multiply. See that? Now it's a little better. It's look like real it's look like a really really dark, right? Yeah, so you see now how I do it, right? So yeah, let's say if you think the shadows need a little darker and then I just uh, duplicate the layers of the shadows, see that huh? It's look like uh, this code is really really there <laughs> but of course you you can uh, make this better render better animations and better models okay this above all is just a purpose of learning all right so this is how you do the cgi okay <laughs> uh, if you want to learn something else then uh, don't forget to comment on the uh, box comment box below all right I read if I read and then if I know you want to learn something and then I will try to try my best to make the tutorial of it okay anything you want the 3ds you want the CGI you want the effects and then you want the masking uh, or photoshops or anything okay just uh, comment on the box comment box and then let me know yeah so my name is Sasna uh, I hope uh, what I teach you is can uh, make you make your own videos uh -huh. and then yeah make your own TV series and all okay uh, the, the video series the contents the TikTok or the whatever you want okay my name is Sasna Vifi so I'm going to see you later alright